Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to some more Project Zomboid. Black Ops Insurgent on a secret mission to find a hidden military base. Not this one, though. This one seems mostly empty, unfortunately, but... We shall see, I suppose. Maybe it's uh, not all bad. Who knows? Anyways. We are on the aforementioned secret mission. With the 10 years later mod, as I'm sure you are all aware. But with the formal introductions out of the way, for now, let's uh, get back to doing what we do best. And that's apparently violently swing a machete around. Yeah, I've, drawn, I've, I've drawn in a few too many. My character's genuinely bored from all of this. We're in a life or death situation. He's like, meh, boring. I only hope my audience isn't saying the same thing, because uh, now thus far it hasn't been exactly the most exciting thing, but... Well, I mean, it is what it is, right? I'll go through the extra trouble. Just to grab the two keys from the key rings. I mean, chances are these unlock just random houses in Raven Creek or uh, some of the other towns nearby. I doubt any of these unlock anything here. But, yeah. Okay, I am getting queasy. Um, don't worry, though. It's not what you think. Uh, queasy is generally for when you get infected. You, you become queasy because uh, you're getting sick and... Well, yeah. I don't know, how should we call it? Not long for this world. Um, you can also get sick and die, but not infected, sick, from just hanging around corpses too much. And I'm in an indoor area surrounded by literally nothing but corpses. So, as you would imagine, not gonna, um, not, not exactly, you know, living my best life currently. But it's fine. We won't do this for very long. I'll clear out sort of this next room. And I'm going to leave the army base and, and come back in a bit after I've recovered. I don't want to check what's over here as well. Let's do that. Can I not enter here? Is that... Huh. Okay, there's a secret room in there and I can't enter it. And you know what that means? Lazy developer. 
Lazy? Okay. <laughs> I had to check, sorry. I, I, I really hope people don't mind. I have to know. And I kind of feel justified in doing it, because there's not a single place in Knox County that has rooms like this that isn't modded. I think maybe one or two that I know of. There's a room, I don't know if this has been fixed, but like a few months ago I found... Actually it was, it was I think around this time last year, so scratch that, but... Yeah, around this time last year, I found a room um, somewhere between West Point and Louisville, um, in which there was a ladder leading up to it, but you can't use ladders in this game yet, so... You couldn't enter the room. And I messaged one of the developers about it, or I didn't message a developer, but I, I posted it on Reddit and one of the developers saw it and said, Yeah, you know what, we're cancelling the holidays, calling everyone back to the office, we have to fix this. Um, and I was like, eh, you know, game's literally unplayable, so I don't know what to tell you. Um, <laughs> in a joking manner, of course, both of us, um, but yeah. I found that one, but here I'm finding a couple, so I mean, it's obviously to be expected. This is a very large, ambitious project, and huge town and all that. It took months for the developers to get Louisville in order, quote-unquote, and even then it's still not the greatest place on Earth. So, yeah. I can hear them coming behind me, that's a bit dangerous, because I thought I cleared all of this. I'm queasy still. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on that. I'm also still depressed, even though I'm pretty sure I took those antidepressants. But fine, I'll take another. Put that away. I'm getting also pretty hungry. Hey, it finally broke. Who'd have thunk? Still depressed, still queasy, still bored. I wonder if all the water that's like physically within the walls has anything to do with the way zombies pathfind and move when you're not in their vicinity. I.e. the way they move off camera. 
Because that could be one of the reasons it's done like this. That was dangerous. Okay, I'm getting out of here. This is too boring and too depressing for my character. And honestly, I'm not faring much better. Christ almighty, getting in was a problem, leaving is going to be a bigger problem. Jesus, okay, I thought I would find, like, food and stuff down here. This place is empty, man, there is nothing here, and I mean nothing. Antidepressants are kicking in slowly. I'm still queasy though, and I'm not really taking it easy either, so... Get rid of the board mood outlet with the magazine. I can't get rid of hungry though, because I don't have any food left. Did any of them get up from over here? No. Maybe if I just follow the train tracks directly, it'll lead to something. Exciting enough for you? Woo! Two ferals behind a door in a small room, yeah. That's about right, isn't it? Although, I don't hate them. One of them brought me a katana um, at one point, and I'm never going to forget that. So, even if I end up dying to one, or getting bit by one... Oh, very bored. Okay, now it's serious, eh? Hmm. Pretty sure I found the room, quote-unquote. Okay, 
the necromancer needs to die. There's too many corpses around for him to... Okay, I'm, I'm walking out and I'm coming back in later. Not later, I'm, I'm walking out and I'm coming back in a little bit. Need to get rid of the queasy thing, need to get rid of the board thing, and I don't think I'm going to find any food, but... Oh, you know what would be a disaster? Tripping and falling on the railway or on one of the corpses. In fact, that wouldn't be a bad mod to add to this game. Not sure it exists but like a percentage chance to trip over corpses if you're, you know, walking over them. It would solve situations like that, like where you just, we're just in the corridor and you're killing hundreds of them with no real drawback. It would make things a lot more interesting, force you to sort of spread out and move, take things a little bit more methodically. That would be a... Maybe not the solution to everything, but it will be a part of a solution, definitely. Because ultimately I think the problem is the regular zombie isn't that much of a threat. Printers are a, are a threat, but they're like the nuclear option, you know? You can play with sprinters only, and then you you die. Good luck. Um, good luck clearing anything big out. You know, you're gonna miss out on so much of the game. Multiplayer, maybe you can you can manage. It'll be a bit, bit easier with like multiple guns and stuff. But here's the thing: even with all that, the main problem remains that uh, the regular zombie. That, that's still the nuclear option, right? The regular zombie isn't really threatening enough. Uh, CDDA remedies that a little bit, but the core base mechanic behind the regular zombie is still a little bit iffy. And actually, now I put it to you, it's this is one of like this game is infamously difficult for a lot of people. It's not a difficult game. You just need to not get adventurous. Which is the whole reason a lot of us play. But... That's kind of the, you know... The way out, the way out I suppose, in, in, in some sense, is just don't get adventurous. Don't go and try and clear out a military base like that and you'll be fine. You, you won't die. Clear out your base and work towards uh, self-sustainability. And once you're fully self-sustainable, um, don't leave the base. You can you can leave to do ammo runs to you know a gun store, a military outpost like the ones in Louisville, outside of Louisville. That is, yeah, you can do that because that's not dangerous, but. Stock up on ammo and just wait. Eventually they'll come to you, sure. Um, and depending on your base, eventually they'll just ignore you too, so... Nothing else you can do. How many have I killed? I'm wondering. 2,400. You see, you'd think I spent like the whole day killing zombies, and you would think that, you know, oh no, it's... I got bit in the fucking neck. Not bit, I got a laceration in the fucking neck. That that could have ended... We were about three seconds away. Well, no, we were about like two seconds away from the run ending. Literally, 
couple of seconds away from the run ending. Not even kidding. Like I said, don't get adventurous. I was 2x speed walking down the frickin' zombie ridden forest, and I'm about to do it again, but this time I know it's a little bit safer. And yeah, I mean, you gotta understand, a part of this is the YouTube side of things where I can't really have you looking at me walk down the, the rail tracks I just came from for another 10 minutes. It's not much of a video, and I don't want to make do constant cuts as well, because I want to show you everything, and uh, I, I don't really, I don't want to misrepresent the game, because this is the first time I'm playing it on the channel, and I really want to give you the, the, you know, the everything, all sides of it. The realistic and mundane, but immersive parts, some of the less... Well, some of the boring parts, let's be honest, which are necessary, um, and situations like that where I kept calm but got my neck slashed and as precious little I could have done to... Well, that's not true. I could have stopped it, but what I mean is like this precious little I could have done once it started happening. If that makes any sense. I need to get in there. Also, a new uniform would help. Like, new vest, new everything, new jacket. I think I genuinely just can't get in there. Oh wow, I can get in these containers. Yeah, I don't want to be here this... Too many blind spots, like, one of them could come out of any of these little hidey holes and get me. <laughs> wow! Yeah, this island is shite for loot. This is... there is nothing here. A stalker knife, which is one handed but goes on the back, because it's too long. And it is bloody amazing, fair enough, but I don't know of any weapon that's like, remotely similar. There's nothing here. Yeah. 
I exited the base. No, yeah, that, that's that's it. That's that's everything that there's that there is. Probably a room with like guns and stuff that I've missed, but I'll find it. Um, I'll go back in and find it. But this is just for just so that we're all on the same page. This is it. I'm really unimpressed by the entire base, I have to be honest with you. I really am. Like, the outposts outside of Louisville is amazing compared to this. The hidden military base, which I'm not supposed to know about, but I will tell you, because this is the first time I'm actually exploring this bit of the map, um, is amazing compared to this. Yeah, I'm, I'm really... Kind of disappointed. And I'm pretty sure that a large part of the base, and you'll forgive me for using cheats again just to make a point. Oh. Yeah, this is what I was getting at. Large part of the base is just covered in, in nothingness. Um, I even think this part of the base you, I'm not supposed to access ever. Yeah, I think that's just a... Man, that is disappointing as all hell. I would, I would have thought that this is one of like the central locations in, not central, but one of like the best locations in in Raven Creek. Because it just makes sense for it to be right, isolated, probably the most. If you can clear it, the safest location in Knox County. And what's inside it? Nothing. I mean, I understand balance and the, the balance reasons you can't have this be the... Greatest location with all the food, water and everything you ever need. There's balance and then there's boring, because that's what this is. Honestly, I'm thinking it might be time to just give up on the whole clearing out and adventuring side of things and just focus on plain simple survival.
Maybe there's something in there. The door looks interesting. Too many shite, and they all like burst into activity as soon as I walked in. Jesus. Okay, let's go one at a time, my sweet Prittons. That was pretty messed up, though, from the left and from the right. From behind, sealing off the exit so you can't leave where you came from. That, that looks almost coordinated. We good? They were experimenting on them here. I knew it. I bloody well knew it. And yeah, the keys do open the doors inside the base, which I found. Thankfully. They were experimenting on them here. The glass doors, the everything. Yep, that was... Well, I mean, kind of expected, to be honest. But this is... Yeah. Holy shite. Yeah. Now, I suppose the only question is, were they experimenting on them before the official outbreak or after? Because if it's out after, I understand. If it's before, then... Well... I mean, I suppose it doesn't really matter anymore, right? They paid the price, and so did we for their uh, arrogance and greed and all the other things, right? I reckon that I can't find proof of anything here, like no documents. But I'm pretty sure I will find documents for what I just witnessed here on the other end. Um, on the other end, I mean, like on the other... Uh... In the other military base that's also hidden. And basically just put two and two together and... Figure out how the outbreak started.
Ooh, I'm angry now. I think I can... Notice a difference in my combat as well and the damage I'm doing, generally speaking. Yeah, this anger's being turned into... DPS. Now, just one thing left to find. That's... If there are any, I mean, resources in the base. Weapons, ammo, literally anything. I would love to find some. Make the trip here worth it, you know? I mean, the trip here was worth it, given what we just saw, but... What I mean is more like make the... ...trip materially worth it, too, not just in terms of knowledge and... ...well, I guess the experience of killing about a thousand more of the... ...walkers, too. That looks as though it could hide a uh, relatively useful relatively useful room to me. Oh, you know the general idea being. Keep the important stuff in there, so keep it in the deepest part of the base. It's difficult to access and stuff like that. And when it's surrounded by the most amount of undead, apparently. I don't think the, f the latter was really something considered in the floor plans and the engineering side of things. I don't think, but that's exactly how it turned out to be. Although it kind of makes sense um, that if there's a horde of zombies attacking from the outside, right, externally breaching the base, it makes sense that if they win, that's a pretty big if, but if they win, if they kill everyone in the base, that the most of them the largest number of them would be in the deepest part of the base. Because they would keep going, right? Following noise, gunshots and stuff like that, they would get into the deepest part of the base and then... Sure, you can assume some of them will wander off, but for the most part, I think... They will sort of stay there, especially in a convoluted base like this, where you don't... Oh, well, I don't know where I'm going. And I like to think of myself as at least ever so slightly more intelligent than my adversaries currently. That is until I found humans. If I ever find them. If not, you know.
It's empty. I've killed all of this. I've killed all of them. For an empty room. The room I... The room is empty. Oh dear lord in heaven, the room the room has twine in it and, and otherwise it, it's completely empty. That is... Um... Oh boy, that's funny. That is genuinely funny. Come on, you fuckers. Come on. I'm not afraid to die in here anymore. I'm so disappointed in everything that... At this point... I don't care that much. Come on. I'm gonna need more of those antidepressants and uh what else? Food, yeah, just just food for now. Have everything else I need. something in my eye <laughs> and for a brief second I saw a, a version of the future I, I'm kidding obviously but um, for a brief second I panicked the, and then thought that you know what's gonna happen I'm gonna scratch my eye there's gonna be a zombie approaching me and I'm gonna panic and I'll claw my own eye out in the process figuratively speaking it'll just hurt a lot you can't exactly they're not that fragile, you can't exactly do permanent damage. Well, depending on how much you panic, I suppose, but yeah, like... I, like, I, I want to avoid injury to myself, I'd rather just pause for a second. Okay, what do you have on you? Ah, spear with a combat knife, never mind. I thought I was a sword for a second, I was like... This whole trip is about to be worth it if that's some kind of medieval sword. But alas, alack... No. Okay, tell you what, ladies and gents, I think I've wasted enough of your time with this military base. It's getting boring for me, 
and I can imagine that from a viewing perspective, this isn't the most interesting thing to watch in the world. So I'm going to make you a deal. I'm going to play, or I'm going to clear out the rest of this off camera, even though, yes, I could die at some point. Um, I will record it just in case I die, so you can see exactly how and where it happened. But I don't think I will, at least I hope not. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get to the bit where I find the gun boxes and, and stuff like that. Um, if I find them, if they exist, that is. But I'm just going to cut to that bit right now. Or um, not cut to that bit, but I'm going to just start the next episode from there. Because this is, I mean, this is just... Honestly, it's getting a bit stupid at this point. Alright, thank you very much for watching. I apologize for, um, you know, this being a action-packed episode. Yes, with lots of action, but not all action is created equal at the same time. This was a bit, uh, it's getting a bit mundane now and, and monotonous. So I'm going to cut this out and get to the good parts. And uh, after that, we're going to focus more on the survival aspects. Uh, we're going to get out of this island and, we're gonna, you know, try and make ourselves a proper home with, you know, nice clean beds, a source of water and everything. And take things from there. But until then, ladies and gents, thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe down below if you enjoyed the video, and we'll stay tuned with the rest of the content that I produce on this channel. I'll see you, uh, hopefully, with something a little bit more interesting next time when I've cleared out the base, or uh, at least I've gotten to the guns, and I'm uh, about to head out and leave this accursed island forever. Until then, have fun, take care, and bye-bye.